We all are born with a certain package. We are who we are. Where we were born, who we were born as, how we were raised. We're kind of stuck inside that person. And the purpose of civilization and growth is to be able to reach out and empathize a little bit with other people. And for me, the movies are like a machine that generates empathy. It lets you understand a little bit more about different hopes, aspirations, dreams, and fears. It helps us to identify with the people who are sharing this journey with us. Hi, I'm Steve James, and I have the distinct honor to direct the first documentary about Roger Ebert's life. I first encountered Roger when he and Gene Siskel reviewed Hoop Dreams on their television show 20 years ago. Many people know Roger's life to be inspiring, and indeed it was, but he was also a flesh and blood man whose life was full of humor, hubris, and his own share of heartbreak. As Chaz told me after he died, she hopes the film will present Roger the man, not just the icon. And that's certainly what we're trying to do. With Roger and Chaz's full support, we began filming about a year ago. And since then, we've done over two dozen interviews with longtime friends, professional colleagues, and filmmakers that Roger had a profound impact on, like Earl Morris, Werner Herzog, and Martin Scorsese. When Steve asked me to participate in this picture and to come aboard as executive producer, I was honored because it's important to me to preserve Roger's legacy, and that's what Steve has done with life itself. So really, please consider supporting this picture. Life itself is almost complete, but to finish the film, we really want your help. We've raised most of the money for the budget, but we're deep into post-production now where it really gets expensive, and you can see some of those expenses on the site. But more importantly, Roger belonged to all of us, and we want to build a community for this film where people can really contribute in some way, not just in finishing the film, but also in the excitement of the premiere and the theatrical release. That's why we've designed the campaign to allow you, our supporters, to see the film early and celebrate Roger's legacy before anybody else. By becoming an early champion of this film, you can help spread the word, and you can actually participate in a discussion about what Roger meant to all of us who love movies. If we're actually able to raise money beyond our goal, then we plan to support causes that represented what Roger stood for as a critic, as a progressive voice, and as someone who really bravely battled cancer and disabilities. So finally, I hope you will pledge your support to life itself. Give it two thumbs up. Sorry, Roger. And as Roger used to say, we'll see you at the movies, but hopefully this one.